overall goal of ADA compliance for the city of Ada is to provide all citizens, regardless of their ability, access to our buildings and all of our programs, whether it be in a city park, um, whether it be on a public street, or in a city building. In 1992, Congress passed the Americans with Disabilities Act, which facilitated a sea change in how governments and businesses plan and operate on a daily basis. The legislation helped to level the playing field for persons with disabilities, such as the blind, deaf, and those constricted to wheelchairs. For the past 16 years, the City of Ada has made a thorough effort to comply with ADA law. It doesn't matter if the building is handicapped accessible if the person can't get into the building. So basically, we start at the parking place. We look at the parking place. We look, is there, is there a curb cut to allow them access to a sidewalk? Is there an accessible sidewalk to the front door of the building? Is the front door accessible? Once they get in the building, is there an area in the building that's accessible? Is there an accessible route to the activity that they're trying to participate in, to a restroom, to a courtroom, to a meeting room, things like that? So basically, you work your way in from the car into the building, and you look at every step and every place in that building. So it's just a matter of going through each facility, and every facility is different. The Americans with Disabilities Act impacts every project the city of Ada undertakes, no matter how large or small. ADA planning has become an integral step in the process and often influences how a particular project turns out. A critical factor in this process is public input. Every new street project, every new building project, uh, that's the first thing we look at, is that accessibility part of that so we don't have to go back and, and redo anything. And then again, as we renovate anything, and as we, as, we, as we get input from the community, we look at those areas because what we think may be a priority may not be a priority to somebody else. Something we haven't potentially thought about could be a priority. And we've, we've had folks give us input and um, see things they'd like to be addressed. And that's a part of the process for the city to comply. We want to be a good steward of the citizens' money. So we don't want to go out and just dream things up that we think need to be done that potentially are really on the bottom priority list for folks that need those improvements. Because the Americans with Disabilities Act is relatively new legislation, the city of Ada needed to take a critical look at all its structures, many of them constructed decades before the law took effect. Some structures, such as the Ada Arts and Heritage Center and Wintersmith Lodge, have to be carefully renovated in order to preserve their historic integrity. We have done a survey of all of our facilities. We go through every renovation project we do. We look at what should be done to make it accessible as we redo. We try to make the accommodations that we, that we can. Obviously, with regard to Winter Smith Lodge, of course, that's on the National Historic Register. We have some doorways that probably should be wider uh, as far as today's guidelines. Obviously, with 18-inch thick native stone walls in certain areas, you can't physically do that. So what we do is we don't just say that's not accessible, we can't do anything with that building. We look at the things we can do. We look at the access, we look at the doors, we look at the restrooms, we look at um, all the things that we can do. We don't let that one barrier deter us from going ahead and doing improvements. It just may be that you can't do some ADA compliance uh, improvements that you could on a newer building. But you still go through and do make a good faith effort to do every accommodation you can do in every building. In the case of Arts and Heritage, we, we've looked at accessible parking. Um, we provided a concrete ramp to come to the front door with the appropriate landing. Um, we've put an automatic door opener on that, and which we've done at City Hall and the library and Irving Community Center. Some of those buildings we've done that have a lot of uh, access into those. Sometimes certain physical barriers simply cannot be altered or removed. In those cases, the City of Ada works to ensure that each and every citizen has the ability to participate in all its meetings, programs, and services. The idea, of course, is to include as many people as possible. 
you can't make every area of every building totally accessible. If you can't do that, you can provide that program in another area. You can move a program to help accommodate. We've looked at not only city buildings, park areas, things like that, but access around town. We've kind of prioritized and focused on what we thought were, the, say, the core area of downtown, around the Aldridge, the post office, city hall, the courthouse. We've also branched out into some of the Connector Street, 14th Street, 12th Street, uh, 10th Street, to connect folks. Uh, the city's done a tremendous number of uh, street uh, curb cuts in there and, uh, and ramps in, uh, across Ada. The city of Ada isn't the only entity required to comply with ADA law. As a government entity, of course, we have a bigger responsibility, I think, um, because we have citizen access to all of our buildings. What's, what's really come about in the, in the last few years, I think, is more awareness by businesses, schools, uh, private enterprises that they have to comply. Cities have known for a long time that it, it's a requirement for us to comply, but um, it's taken a, a lot longer for it to trickle down through to the private sector, I think. And the private sector has done a good job at doing that, it's just been an awareness issue of what they really have to do and what they should do. In addition to buildings and sidewalks, there are many other areas in which the city strives to provide equal access. For example, the city has installed state-of-the-art crosswalk signals to aid the visually impaired. Channel 11, the city's cable access network, will soon provide closed captioning for all its programming to better serve the hearing impaired. On a current construction project, the city is using textured concrete on a crosswalk so impaired citizens can actually feel where they are. The city is always looking for new technology to aid in its ADA compliance efforts. I think we've made a lot of progress. The city manager and the city council have been um, very good at budgeting money, enough money each year for us to make improvements. It's very important for us to comply. Number one, it's the law. And number two, it's the right thing to do, to provide equal services to all of the citizens of, of Ada.